So, hey guys, Chaozi here. So, new season of Grand Party. The rules are as follows. Int attack up level 8, Driven's, driven special city speed up level 5, Cerebral HP up level 5, Slasher city speed down level 3. So, Slasher debuffed. And if leader is present, int types get def up level 4. So, the way I read this, the optimal leader is an int driven unit. And most will think Uta when they hear that, 6 plus Uta, Tot Muska. But I prefer Kaido personally. The new V2 versus Kaido. If you look at his GP leader, he boosts Int, he boosts Dex, and Driven. And I think that's a lot better combination than Uta, who does Int and Sai. Since Sai is pretty much very much debuff, since most good Sai units are slashers as well, and Sai has no buffs at all, basically. So I think this is pretty good, especially since Dex can be mostly driv driven, as you see on this team. And I think that Dex team looks pretty clean, if I may say so. And of course we have Quick, who is very good now, with a lot of different options. So, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I think I'll stick to this team for a while and see if I feel confident in it or not. So let's jump into it. Let's just try and find some good games. Let's see, what do we pick? I guess we can do the first one. Let's see how it looks. We have a weird int. Uh, pretty normal free spirit team and uh, another basic lean team. Okay. It's obviously not well a very good team since he has two in teams, but uh, Luffy Crew is the GP leader who only boosts strength, dex, and quick, so probably not the most seasoned player, so to say. But yeah, we take those. Uh, I guess we can do something like this, make it a bit interesting. Obviously, in the beginning, there's not a lot of stakes, so you don't have to think too much. Like, especially for the first few matches, you can lose indefinitely, and it doesn't matter, so... Not that I think I lose this, but it's just how it is. So yeah, we'll see if there's any further changes this GP season. Uh, I record this just as it started, so I have not heard anything from others, but I'll keep you updated if there is any changes at all. And yeah, this looks like it's going to be a pretty free victory. This special city speed up for Driven is going to be very noticeable. Yeah, looking like a pretty free win. I have a feeling this video will be shorter than it normally is. But might just be an abnormally easy first matchup I got. Okay, that's GG. No issues for quick driven. Which is in a really good place right now, I'd say. And let's do Int versus this Free Spirit team. Uh, main issue with using versus Kaido is, of course, that you need to drop another Int Legend since he's not on the normal team. Usually you run like Treasure Map Blackbeard or something. But personally, I don't think Treasure Map Blackbeard is that essential. I don't feel too bad about dropping him. And I really like Kaido's Skippy Burst. We, we looked at the leader, but the actual burst is not bad either. I think it's better than Uta's. 
But yeah, as you see there, we tanked that pretty easily. Like Int in particular has such high stat buffs here that they are very much favored against Int, I'd say. Even if they get run over in the beginning. But yeah, getting the half stats in helps a lot, of course. Get even more half stats. And yeah, Kid is going to get some kills here. So yeah, this is usually how we can go against Sai, they get some early kills, but as long as you can live through it, you usually pick up the win with your remaining units. Okay, easy first game, let's jump straight into the next one. Let's face another Uta team, I guess. Guess we can do this one. Yeah, looks like a pretty standard Uta team, I guess. So we do Int first versus Sai. And we can do Dex versus Quick, of course. And we'll see how it goes. Bit more competent opponent this time, so it will be interesting to see. But yeah, this opponent is going to be pretty slow. It doesn't have law on the team. And it has the slasher debuff. So yeah, Driven is actually going to be faster here, which you usually don't see against Sai. And Sai's main advantage over Int is their speed in launching specials. So that difference will basically be gone now, which basically makes this a free win for Int, in my opinion. And yeah, getting more especially off early basically secures the kill in a lot of cases. Yeah, seeing Uta go for Yamato is pretty surreal to be honest. Got them a bit more neuter. Okay, the kid should pick up some kill here. At least one. And we get the attack down debuff. Very helpful. But yeah, even with all these advantages, in the end, Sai Sai, it's very annoying to face. But Int has a lot better bench than Sai as well, which does help a lot. Easy wave clear there by Broggy. Let's see some Kaido damage. Yeah, pretty easy win in the end. If Law was on the team, it would have been a bit more annoying, but without him, it was basically free. And yeah, Dex versus Quick doesn't sound as free as it should be. Uh, quick nowadays is very good, but it depends on the quick team. And if we look at this opponent's quick team, not the best, I'd say. Basically, the opponent leads some units who do like fixed damage, and some who doesn't like in the Yanyo should be mostly fixed damage in the beginning. Chick is actually really good now. I've seen the light, so to say. But 
As you see on my quick team I used, I don't really use Kaido as a leader now, or on the front line. I see him more as a bench cleanup unit now, I think that suits him a lot better. But yeah, Blackbeard is amazing versus quick and strength mainly, I think it is. We also does damage. Let's just use the burst. Death down level 10. Not bad at all. I only think, honestly think that death down level 10 is more useful than the small fixed damage that Uta does. Just need to time when you use the burst, basically. And yeah, Luffy is the only frontline unit on these three teams who isn't driven, but he's just too good to be dropped, basically. Yeah, that was a rare miss by Moria, he usually hits something. But yeah, this should clean up, basically. Oh, they barely live. But yeah, Blue Liam is so good. Especially in the last bit of the game. I definitely agree that Blue Liam is a sub. But he can do a lot of work when he gets in. So yeah, second victory. Let's keep moving. I like the look of this squad so far. The good thing about this squad is that despite having decks and quick teams, I feel like these are like universal teams that can beat like anything basically. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. Let's just check this one. Sigh again, no law again. Big F there. We have a Dex team, always annoying. You know what, I, it would be pretty interesting to use Quick versus that Dex, but at the same time we do have the Strength Focus Slasher team after, so... Probably irresponsible. So I think we'll do like... This, that... Let's just have some fun, let's try Dex versus Sai here. Since Stuffy does debuff side death down nowadays. And see how it goes. Yeah, that could be interesting. I never tried the new Duffy level limit break against Free Spirit yet. But basically it does give death down level 5 to Psy enemies now. Yeah, that does help neuter them up a bit. Not have as high defenses. Like usually I'd say that Sai beats Dex mainly because of the hostas from Yamato together with the Odin RNG of course. But with buffs like this and maybe with Doffy, things could be different. But yeah, I can see us losing this, for sure. Yeah, stuff like this can happen, of course. Classic example of Sai running away with it, basically. And like Doffy is down, so that level limit break he got doesn't matter here. So, yeah. Just an example of why I don't really believe in uh, that. Like, Dex is really annoying, but against half stats, Intensai in particular, is a bit too much RNG.
And yeah, we got too few units left now, so not much we can do. But yeah, it's always good to experiment. I do that a lot in PvP. Yeah, just end my misery. Thank you. Okay, but we can still win this. Let's see if Int can pick up the slack against opposing decks. Will be fun to see. Mori is usually the MVP here. I guess my opponent will use the Roger Burst right away. Very weird, usually the AI uses the Burst right away on the beginning of the battle with Charged. So I never really say it it's save it before, that's very odd. Talton being aligned in, in the front line. This situation is what JP calls social di social distancing. One unit alone in front, everybody targets him. It's very annoying RNG, it, like it can sway battles so much. I'll save the burst until we do some more attacks, I think. Bizarre. Now it used the burst after, not at the beginning, but after using specials. Very weird. Oh, I guess they have some more. But basically, if they changed the AI of of burst that they can use them anytime, R facing Roger is a lot more scary now. I've honestly never seen that before. Okay, that's awful. Looks like we might lose this, but good learning experience. But yeah, let's just skip this, I think. Shame. I also put the end the video now, but I guess it keeps going a bit more. Maybe try another opponent to not get tedious. There's a lot of annoying opponents here. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Yeah, let's do this one. And we can start with quick for some variety. And then go in. Okay. Hopefully I win this in two battles and I can lie down a bit and get a rest. I'm honestly not feeling the best right now. I think I've picked something up. Feeling a bit sick. Getting Fuji up early is usually pretty crucial for the quick teams just to get his extra defense up. And obviously Akainu especially against strength is amazing. But it's basically good in any matchup because his very fast big HP cut is really good. So 
So yeah, we're running over <laughs> this team pretty fast. Might be able to get the win here without using any more specials. Just kill with normal attacks. Nope. This might be able to seal it. No. Uh, the remaining units are more bulky than you think. Wow. Like last game, perfect use of burst. Like that was amazing use of burst. And this time just throw it away at a lost battle. This looks more like the AI I know. <laughs> and let's see if we can get the Int versus Psy again. Otherwise, we're going to Dex versus Dex, which is like the biggest nightmare. I think my current team is favored versus Dex though in the Ditto. Like, realistically, we just need to get one single kill. And like, we have Moria, who does a lot of death down. We have Kaido Burst that does death down, so there's a lot of opportunity to lower the opposing Dex team's defenses. Uh, Law is on this side team, of course, so. They're not as debuffed by the slasher debuff as the other teams we faced. But that's still enough to let Mori have a realistic chance of go going before Yamato and the gang. Yeah. Uh, Kid's attack down is really good even if he's half stats. Kaido damage, we take those. That's very unfortunate. But even there, like, I got a strong bench coming in, so not too scary. Uh, Kaido's burst actually does really well against Sai. You do a lot of damage against Sai too, so that's another reason why. Kaido Burst is pretty good, since Sai can be an annoying matchup. But yeah, that's the end of the video. But yeah, I'll probably stick with this team, I like it. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, see you next time.